Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel and we're back for the good old tier list tier maker that I quite surprised that the previous video has pretty much exploded with views and likes by you guys so I decided to just make another one uh, based on this comment it gives me inspiration to just keep going and make another one i think i think i need to start from the extra stage bosses because you know just several weeks ago i've done the extra stage marathon so i think this is gonna be a good thing to do but before that uh i want to make one more tier This sum up what I feel about this extra stage. <laughs> Marissa in Fairy Wars is exceeding all the extra stage that are present here. All right, we're gonna move to Flunder Scarlet. So uh, I want you guys to ignore some of the same pictures that I uploaded here, it's just a mistake, so yeah. So we start from Flunder Scarlet. So Flan is gonna be in the C tier because you know she's the first extra boss that I dealing with as you guys probably know in the previous video I said that Toho 6 is my first game and Flander also the first extra stage that I have beaten but at the same time this kid here I cannot say that she's a kid because she been living in the room for 495 years but she is pretty tough if you are a first time Toho player. The first thing why she's pretty tough is because there's only 4 lives in Toho 6 extra stage. To be honest, pattern and the attacks, the spell cards is not really a big deal except probably mm, 1 or 2 but pretty much she is pretty challenging but not as challenging as the other extra stage. She is in the solid C. Moving on to uh, Ran Yakumo. I put Toho 7 in D before, right? So I'm gonna put Ran on D also. Also in the same thing as Yukari because they are basically not too different. Uh, the patterns, the attacks probably a lot more complex than Flan, but at the same time, the game system are so easy in Toho 7, Toho PCB. You can always get more lives than Toho 6. You can always get supernatural borders. It's... you know what I mean, right? It's not that hard. Uh, except for Yukari in the last spell, it is pretty challenging. Survival spell. Yukari is just slightly more difficult than Ran, but to be honest, they are just basically the same. Alright, we move to Moko. Fujiwara no Moko is gonna be... Mm, this is pretty tough. I'm gonna put it in A tier. You know what? She's pretty difficult boss to be honest. Despite being in Toho 8, to be honest Toho 8 is not that difficult right? As I said in the previous video. Uh, Moko on the other hand is pretty tough as an extra boss. You can tell that some of the non-spell are actually pretty fast and really really difficult. The good thing about uh, Moko is in the games itself. The game itself is just a pretty easy game. More lives than uh, Toho 6 let's say. But because of the hard pattern some of them are very very tricky. I'm gonna put her on the A class. Moving on to Suwako. Suwako Moria. I'm gonna put it hmm, B tier. Um, slightly confused between B or C. I'm gonna put on B. I would say she's harder than Flan, but again it is about the Toho 10 being pretty easy to also get lives and stuff. And because your power is your bomb, Toho 10 is pretty generous to give you power. Uh, extra stage in Toho 10 is basically not as hard as Toho 8. Moving on into Koishi. Should I put Koishi in A or should I put Koishi in S? Koishi is the one extra stage that I spend a lot of time dealing with. Even though I feel like when you're getting used to it, uh, 
Koishi is an A, I guess. If there's between a class between S and A, I would put like A plus or something. But that's just gonna make things too diverse for this tier maker. She has this love shape Danmaku that is pretty tricky to see which part is the hitbox and which part is not. Also, not to mention that her last spell is the spell that killing me the most. And I would say that most of her spells are actually pretty difficult, but her non-spell is not that hard. Yeah, that's how I feel about her. But she is my favorite Excess stage boss. I like her so much. Moving on to Nue. I should put Nue in C tier. Not so much going on in Nue, to be honest with you. So Nue has difficult one is when she giving like black fogs it is pretty tricky one and the ufo attacks i would say the blue one is pretty difficult the red and the green is not too much i guess it's not too difficult i cannot say more about it mamizo is it a b or c which one is it i would say i would put it in b you know what mamizo seems kind of easy but if you are really want to try to beat her, she is an absolute hell to be honest with you. The animal Danmaku is pretty unpredictable because it's moving like it's moving by its own and yeah the hitbox of those animal Danmaku is also pretty tough to deal with. Yeah basically she is really tough. Moving on to Toho 14, the musical lady, I'm gonna put her in the C tier. She is tricky. I say tricky so many times in this video. The part when she shake the screen is pretty difficult as well. And the drum and laser part is also pretty tricky. But I would say the survival is actually her hardest and most difficult part of her fight. Uh, Hekatia and plus Junko because no Junko in the picture. I'm gonna put it in the S tier because Hekatia, she is the hell lady, she is the goddess of hell. Her fight is also pretty hellish. If you're not using Raisin, I, I, I never beat her without using Raisin. It is insane. I, I have Reimu, I have like Sane, but never actually beat her using Reimu or Sane, only Raisin. Overall, she's the hardest among all of this. Okina, Okina extra stage version, I'm gonna put it in the D tier. The reason why, because Toho 16, very very kind to us, you know, has a tendency to be very very nice to the player. Since it has the release, the season release, the bombs, it's pretty easy to get bombs. And most importantly, Toho 16 is the easiest game to get lives. Moving to the last extra stage here. The last extra boss is gonna be Saki Kurokoma. What do you think, guys? Mm, I'm conflicted. I have never been have any problem with Saki before. Maybe because I have already been experienced with Toho before Toho 17 is out. Her fight is not that difficult as well. I'm gonna put it in the C because it's not as easy to get lives as Toho 7 or Toho 16 by the way. It's pretty tricky you get lives by collecting stuff just like UFO. But again, it's nothing so much going on in Saki. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it in the C tier. Alright, I think this is my tier list so far. I'm not including Toho 9 of course, obviously. I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys really want me to make a tier list, let me know in the comment section below what is your idea. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next video.